Hi, I'm John Nasho. I'm a member of a scientific research team involved in the future development of artificial intelligence systems. The mission of our research team is to make the use of AI systems more accurate and safer. Suppose I told you that we have made a remarkable technological leap forward in being able to separate fact from fiction in AI generative content. No more false or partially false data outputs that can be used to propagate myths and disinformation and the resulting use of AI for unethical purposes. Would you believe me? Well, that's exactly what the team has done. And we appreciate the few minutes you're taking as a leading AI thought leader to let us explain how we did it. Our research team found eight significant problems that plague today's AI systems. Top on the list is that AI operates in pursuit of human engagement, believability, and yes, pleasability. AI systems are not designed to seek out the truth. Generative AI content is the product of probabilities and deep language models that are not intended to seek out ground truth. AI system outputs are limited to the data sets on which they are trained. AI systems perpetuate the bias and errors of the data sets they are trained on. AI systems portray human beliefs and opinions as ground truth. AI does not identify faulty logical reasoning, be they faulty syllogistic reasoning or logical fallacies. And last on the list, AI systems sometimes hallucinate by reverting to unstable states where they can no longer produce sensible results. Based on these eight challenges, we set out to create a new technology solution that seeks out genuine issues of fact while simultaneously applying the rules of logic to validate the truth of AI generative outputs. We realized that we had to find a way to segregate true, false, and partially false AI outputs identify faulty logic structures like improperly constructed syllogisms and logical fallacies, and be able to notify system operators in timely ways that AI systems were not producing sensible outputs. We started by developing a method to identify whether any human assertion was true, false, or partially false, based on the ground truth. We realize that the statements humans make take the form of assertions that comprise sentences, sentences that comprise paragraphs, and paragraphs that comprise complete documents. Using this capability to segregate true, false, and partially false human assertions, we can dynamically score the validity of single assertions, sentences, paragraphs, and documents, and then provide the factual proof to support it. Leveraging our ability to separate provable fact from fiction with syllogistic reasoning, we can identify faulty logic structures in the written word where conclusions are not supported by factually true premises. We can also identify logical fallacies in any written text. Finally, we've developed what we call learning knowledge bases that continuously harvest and treat data from a multiplicity of trusted sources to pre-validate the empirical truth of the data, including AI generative data, before it is promulgated as true and correct information. Here's a snapshot of how our current system, legit, powered by authentication, operates. Here's a screenshot of our landing page. 
Our first challenge was to find a way to separate fact from fiction in the things people write and say. We do this by breaking the sentences people write or say into their component parts. These we call assertions. As you can see here, there can be many assertions of fact in a single sentence. Assertions are those parts of a sentence that declare a genuine issue of fact that can be tested empirically or proven by trusted information sources. So let's go ahead and show you an example. Let's type in the assertion, the Civil War was fought to end slavery. The statement, the Civil War, war was fought to end slavery is a complex and multifaceted topic. While it is true that the abolition of slavery was a significant outcome of the Civil War, the motivations and goals of the war were not solely focused on ending slavery. Here, Legit seeks out ground truth gives us a true answer, and then provides credible sources to prove it. In the absence of credible evidence to prove something, the software will report that the assertion is not true. So let's go ahead and type in the assertion, scientific evidence exists that ghosts are real. Here we see that no scientific evidence exists that ghosts are real. We can also see why ghosts are not real by looking at credible information sources brought back to the user. So let's move on to the next challenge, probabilities and deep language models. Let's type in generative AI content is the product of probabilities and deep language models that are not intended to seek out ground truth. The answer comes back as true, citing many credible technical sources. But we have overcome the shortcomings of using probabilities and deep language models by leveraging the capability to segregate whether human assertions in sentences, paragraphs, or entire documents are valid or not. In this way, we dynamically score the validity of single assertions that comprise sentences, sentences that comprise paragraphs, and paragraphs that comprise documents to dynamically provide factual validity scores in real time. For each scored assertion, sentence, paragraph, and document, we provide empirical proof to support it. Our next major challenge was to deal with the human propensity to convey personal opinions and beliefs as ground truth, to convince others of this or, or that. To deal with this challenge, we inform users that their beliefs and opinions are not necessarily facts. Without credible supporting facts, assertions are not scored as true. But the capability of legit goes much, much further than this. To address the challenge that AI does not identify faulty logical reasoning, be it faulty syllogistic reasoning or logical fallacies, we've developed the means to identify them in any written content. We separate paragraphs into their major and minor premises and determine if they are true or not. If either the major or minor premise is untrue, the conclusion is untrue. If conclusions are not supported by true premises, they are flagged and reported as false and then scored accordingly. Finally, we wanted a way to create legit TM to get smarter and smarter over time without any human intervention. So we have developed what we call learning knowledge bases that continually validate and then store assertions that comprise sentences based on user inputs and the continuous generation of assertions across different sets of knowledge domains. 
This system can operate at scale with no human in the loop to introduce bias. We've recently used legit to analyze the presidential debate. Turning to current President Joseph Biden, he made the assertion that, We got to take a look at what I was left when I became president and what Mr. Trump left me. We had an economy that was in free fall. Authentication found that this assertion was very unlikely. President Biden did not inherit a U.S. economy from Donald Trump that was collapsing. In fact, when President Biden took office in January 2021, the economy was not in a state of collapse. According to various sources, the economy was experiencing a strong recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic with low unemployment rates and robust job creation. Back to Trump. During my four years, I had the best environmental numbers ever. Authentication found that this assertion was very unlikely. Under Donald Trump's presidency, the environment quality has been a subject of significant debate. While the Trump administration has highlighted several achievements in environmental protection, critics argue that the overall impact of his policies has been detrimental to the environment. Back to Biden. They acknowledge he made a lot of progress, number one. The fact of the matter is there's more small black businesses that have been started than any time in history. Authentication found that this assertion was very likely. Under President Joe Biden's presidency, there has been a significant increase in the number of small black-owned businesses. According to various sources, including the U.S. Census Bureau and the Federal Reserve Board, the prevalence of black-owned small businesses has reached record levels during his tenure. Back to Trump. We're no longer respected. They, they don't like us. We give them everything they want and they, they think we're stupid. They think we're very stupid people. Authentication found that this assertion was very likely. Yes, there is a widespread perception among people in foreign countries that Americans are stupid. If you would like to see the complete video, we've included a copy as part of this information package for you to look at. Of course, the implications of the new technology are extraordinarily far-reaching as society continues to fight the battle of mis- and disinformation. Our research team looks forward to the opportunity to continue a dialogue with you regarding how to further develop and best deploy the technology. Please reach out to us and thank you for watching.